Hey there, thanks for stopping by and checking out our course snippet taken from the Web Development Masterclass. In our course, we teach the full web development lifecycle, including all the latest web technologies and cloud hosting frameworks. For full course details and registration, please visit the link down below in the info section. In this lesson, we're going to be developing an accordion as shown in this example. When we click each heading, the previous panel collapses and a new one expands. In order to create an accordion, we start with a div and assign the class panel group. We also need to set an ID. We've set the ID to accordion. You'll see how this is used in a moment. For the purpose of this lesson, we're starting with only one panel. So I'm going to refresh the page and we'll be adding the second and third panel as we progress through the tutorial. Next, we create another div with two classes, panel and panel default. As you learned, this defines the style color of our panels. In this case, panel default will create a light gray color. Inside this div, we have another div with the class panel with the class panel heading. This contains our title, as we learned in the last couple of exercises. It's important to note that our A element now also has a new attribute, which we haven't seen before, called data parent. This is necessary if developing an accordion. The data parent value must be set to the ID that we initially defined in our first div element shown here. So those two much must match in order for this to work. We also have an href attribute set to ex1. This value needs to match the div that contains our panel content. So this href attribute ex1 links to the content inside this div. And the content inside this div is what we're seeing displayed here in our web browser. The content div has three classes defined, panel collapse, collapse, and in. So we've gone over those already in previous exercises. And just again, just to emphasize, the ID here must match the href attribute here. We've set it to ex1. Again, you can, you can name it whatever you want to name it, but they must match. And we have another nested div here <clears throat> with the class panel body. And this div contains our content to be displayed here. So if I were to change that or just make a small add a word and refresh, you can see it shows up there. To change the heading, you just change this text over here. Okay, now we're going to add some additional panels to complete the accordion effect. So I've copied and pasted that block of code that we just went over because it's we're going to be using a, an almost identical block of code. We just have to make a few minor changes for our second panel item. So the first thing we need to do is set EX1 to EX2 and also update this ID to EX2. We can't have two panels with the same ID. The second panel has to link to the ID of the second panel. And I'll just change main, I'll just change this from main heading to heading two. And I'll, re, I'll change this back to just heading one. And I'll save the file and refresh. So now you can see that we have two headings and two content areas. 
And it's very simple. To, for the third, you do the same thing again. Just copy that block of code, paste it, and change this to ex3, ex3, and heading 3. And that's the full accordion. You can add as many items as you want, but we'll leave it at 3 for the purpose of this tutorial.